there, it's Pat here from my studio in Parksville, BC on Vancouver Island. And today is Monday again already. It rolled around so fast. And last week I had said that I was going to mess this canvas up even more, which I think I did a fine job on. It's got lots of information and um, energy and some mark making and repetition. It's got a really varied palette, which I'm going to have to calm down a bit when I get into the painting. Uh, one thing you might be curious about is um, these little marks that I make. I've had people asking me how I do that and I do not paint them one by one with a paintbrush. I actually use uh, a stamp. So the stamp I use is something from uh, just something that would normally get thrown away. So this is a little piece of foam and I believe it came on the ends of my light tubes. So I stamp, put this in acrylic paint and then use it as a stamp on my work. The other way I get my circles is this insulation foam pipe. So this comes from the hardware store and it is split, which makes it sometimes hard to keep a perfect uh, circle. You could reinforce that and tape it together. But what I like about it is that I can change the shape. I can make it more oval or I can make it a little bit more interesting, not a complete circle. So again, I use this as a stamp. You'll see evidence of it through my work in different places. And I use other things to create marks and um, optical texture. In this background, I've used these two items in particular, and I thought I would share that with you because you don't have to go out and buy expensive uh, stamps. Acrylic paint really is hard on a lot of stamps and brushes and everything, so using something like this, I'm not going to worry if I let it dry out or it didn't cost me a lot of money or it was waste material in the first place. So look around and see what you have. This painting is again a background and I'm going to use it to develop a jazz painting. It is as big as I am. It is five feet by four feet, um, 48 inches by 60 inches. I'm sorry, I can't calculate in my head the centimeters, but uh, it is large and I'm going to be using a previous painting as my reference for it um, because it is a commission. So I will um, maybe get started on that this week, but um, we'll see how, how my time goes. Anyway, let me show you the other things that I did work on and bring to near completion, if not completed. I did get a chance to work on this one last week. Hold it up a little. So I ended up making the shoes colored. That really helped. Uh, I painted out the background again. I added a little color onto this purse to connect it and I chose the color from the flowers in the top. But I'm not sure that I'm going to keep it that way or if I am going to put it green to match her skirt. I'm also, I like the, the head on this one, but I'm just curious about maybe adding hair or a hat. So I'm going to try a few of my ideas out on that you doodle app and see just how it looks. That's where that one got. I, I worked on the legs and, and gave them a little more styling and just a few tweaks. It was pretty close, but um, close isn't good enough, right? So I worked on these two as well and this one was something that I was revamping, giving it a bit of a makeover. I'm really pleased with how the purse uh, turned out now and um, I painted it out a dark color and used that little stamp that I showed you to put the circles on and they were kind of like sticking out a bit too much. So I 
just took uh, some white paint and rubbed it on with a baby wipe and then wiped it off. So it left kind of distressed feel to it. And I, I really like how that worked. Um, I painted the back, uh, the bottom part again and, and put some little bits of orange in to relate. Added some open circles, some different size of circles. I wasn't going to put in the drips again, but they were on the umbrella and I decided that it needed it. So I did that. I made a bit of tweaks on, on the body itself, the arms and anyway, just a few, a few variations on what was happening and uh, I'll show you before and after. I, I like the improvement. And this particular one, um, last week I had it uh, getting towards done, but I wasn't happy with the top of the trombone. So I did uh, totally change that by painting it out and putting it back in. And then I painted the background, not black, but a, a dark value. It looked a little stark. I scratched back in while the paint was wet. I scratched back in with a bamboo skewer, some Asemic writing, and that gave it some movement and interest, but it still kind of looked like a lot of background. So again, I was on my circle theme, I think last week, and I used those stamps again and stamped some blue and orange on top. Now again, that was very much on top and very bright. So I pushed it back by doing just a thin uh, float coat over top of it and kind of wiped, wiped it back as well to push them into the, into the background more. And this painting now, it kind of makes me think of uh, somebody standing in front uh, of a uh, graffiti wall somewhere and maybe, you know, being outside playing, busking um, close to a, an alley or a downtown area where there's been a lot of graffiti done. It has that feel to me. So I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to sit with it and if there's anything that needs to be changed, um, I'll do that. But I'm feeling like it's near, near the end, ready for a signature. So that's what I worked on. So this week I have some more blank canvases, a little bit smaller than the uh, last jazz paintings I did, a couple inches. And I think I'm going to uh, get started on them. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to paint them beginning to end. I have to come up with some new ideas and composition. And I'm toying with the idea of possibly trying a black background on one of them and just see if that gives a bit of a different effect, maybe more of a, a night scene, nightlife, that kind of thing. So I am toying with that idea. I always like to try doing something different and new so I don't get bored. And I should also let you know, I did deliver the two paintings I did for the commission and they love them both and agonized over which one to keep. And they decided in the end on the swinging blues and I have to make a couple little tweaks on it. They liked one hand in the other painting better and I'm just going to revise that. I'm going to put a hat on one of them. So it was very successful. It looked fantastic up on their wall and I'm happy that that one of them, um, they love both, but I, I'm really happy that they did because if you do commissions, you know, it can be a little bit nerve wracking and uh, you're never sure if people are going to love what you paint for them. So that's my week coming up. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to get some studio time in and uh, continue putting up some videos for you. So I will have the jazz demo part two ready for you to watch. Thank you so much for following along with my journey. And I hope you have time for some creativity and self-care this coming week. Take care. Bye.